This is kind of cool. This is actually going to be my first unboxing video. Kind of feel like a real YouTuber. So legit camping, they reached out to me and they said, hey, we love your videos. Uh, we want to send you a free hammock, and if you like it, feel free to feature it in one of your videos. Ah! Oh, is that, is that so, too dramatic? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, cool, that sounds great. I know the perfect person to talk to. The reason I'm calling my buddy Penn today is he's got a little bit of an expertise um, with hammocks, so I'm going to see if he's around today. Pen. Yo. <laughs> um, are you busy today? Uh, not really. What's up? for a pretty long time, right? Yeah, a couple years now. Uh, I, I didn't have a bed for a long time just because I didn't want a bed. My room was really tiny, so it sounds bad, but I was like sleeping on the floor. I had <laughs> I had a, a sleeping bag, but it just felt more comfortable that way. And I don't know, that's what they do in Japan, so. A couple years ago, my brother, um, he's very into like survival kind of type stuff. So he was looking at hammocks, um, not necessarily necessarily to sleep in every night, but just to have one. So he found a company, um, and then he, he got a hammock, and then he just got my whole family involved. So I've kind of been sleeping in a hammock ever since. One person got the hammock. Yeah. They tested it out. They, they said, hey, this is comfortable. Um, and then it kind of just spread your whole family. Yep. Yeah, and then we try to get all of our buddies involved, too. <laughs> I, could, I, I could see the appeal, though, of sleeping in a hammock now. It is pretty comfortable. Yeah. You gotta set one up in your room. Yeah, Just I gotta get some, some. Uh, get some eye hooks and drill it into the studs. So you find the two by four in your room, and then you you stick. You said it's called eye eye hooks. Yeah, there's screws with hooks in them. The way that the hammock kind of forms to your back, because it's not a rigid surface, it's gonna kind of form to whatever shape is inside of it. That makes sense. But based on a first glance, um, you know, what, what would you say about this hammock? I mean, well, I haven't used it for a very long time. It's only been a couple minutes, so I can't <laughs> give like a full review of it, but on like first looking at it, for the price point that it seems like it is, it's, it seems like an okay deal. Like you can't really go wrong for that kind of price point. It does the job. Between me and Penn, we're about 400 pounds, so I mean, it's able to support Yeah, I'm that. only 100 pounds. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I guess I'm like 300. I, I didn't exactly like that everything was kind of separate. Well, not everything, but my hammock, the bag is like kind of sewed into the hammock. Oh, gotcha. So it's all just one piece. And this hammock was a little bit bigger than the ones that I had. I was really impressed with how quickly we put it together. I mean, I think from start to finish it took us about uh, two to three minutes and, and that was having never looked at the hammock before there's basically ties on either side and then there's the bag which is the hammock so like two big brands of hammocks is Kamek and there's Eno I know there's another one called like bare butt and then there's this guy there's a couple <laughs> other different hammocks out there but what I like about my hammock is that like the fabric has these little diamonds in it so if there's a rip it's not gonna rip all the way through you are getting what you paid for the straps alone for my hammock cost as much as this hammock and this is everything if you don't want to go through the trouble of setting up like a tent maybe you just bring a sleeping bag and you bring a hammock so right now what we're gonna do is compare the legit camping hammock which is the one we have set up right now to uh, the hammock that Penn uses in his own house uh, when he's sleeping mm -hmm. um, and wh who's the brand for that? Kamek
if any part of this was to rip, it's supposed to just stop. So that's why it's called Rip Stop. And then what's cool about this, probably the same as yours, but it's machine washable. So I could just throw this in the, in the washing machine. To dry it, I just hang it. And it dries pretty quickly. Do you have attachments on the side for, yeah, for well, bags or like for nets? There's like these that go all along the side that you can attach whatever you want to. Like I said before, like the, the carrying pouch is attached to it. So everything is all contained in one thing, except for the straps, which have their own bag. You're, you're looking at two like different priced out hammocks. Like this is a hundred something dollar hammock versus a thirty dollar hammock. It is something like ultimately you have to decide when you're picking out a hammock. If you are somewhere where like you need a mosquito net, uh, I'm sure you could like place one over here, but it's gonna securely lock into your hammock with the hammock. I think in either situation, if you are sleeping outside, you'd probably bring a sleeping bag with you and you'd uh, kind of wrap yourself up in the middle of the night. I kind of feel like Count Dracula a little bit here. I want to take you camping. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks so much to my buddy Penn for helping out with this video. And as always, safe travels, and we'll catch you next time.